Awesome. Mike's Daily Podcast. Hi, it's Mike Matthews. There's so much pressure on me right now. So many people are like, I demand a new Mike's Daily Podcast. You missed a day. How dare you? Mike's Daily Podcast. It's true, I did. I got a little busy because things were happening in my life. Hey, my last show is called Rotund because I wanted to say the word rote, but uh, you know what happened? I have used the word rote before as the name of a podcast that I have done, and so I had to be original and come up with something new. So, this is episode 2115 two one Mike's Daily Podcast 15, and we'll come up with a really good show, and an awful sound effect is going to come to you in three Mike's two Daily one Podcast Here it is yeah! Sorry about that. <laughs> I had to do a little bit of... I had to wrangle up this microphone and say, You will behave. You will do as I say. You. Listen. I was cutting azalea branches yesterday. That's why I couldn't do a podcast. I got really busy with that. and It was really difficult to do. So what I had to do was take... Take these azalea branches. Have you have you touched an azalea branch against your open, naked flesh, your skin? Do you know what happens? Azalea branches have this oil in them that will make you so itchy. It's not like poison oak itchy, but it is annoying nonetheless. So I'm just telling you, don't do it. If you know it's good for you, do not cut azalea branches with your bare open arms. So now I come to you with open arms and I'm getting a rash because of the azalea brush. Brush, oh, bottle brush plants are the worst. So on my hike, in fact, the podcast picture is yet another picture from the wonderful walk that my lovely lady friend and I had in Benicia this past weekend. But this, we, we stumbled upon this house that uh, an old I think this was some kind of a barricade and here's today's podcast picture it was like a I think at one time the Carquina Strait over there in Benicia in, in the North Bay was basically chained off with a massive cable to protect it from enemy ships Coming into the bay. This is as far as I know. I haven't done the extensive research, but it is. This is an old holdover. This shed is an old, some kind of house, concrete house. Looks like it was military grade. And it, now it is covered in this multicolor hippie, hippie esque coloring. Basil said, Hey, I was a hippie, but then I grew out of that phase. That's okay, Basil. Thanks for chiming in. As you do every podcast, we love hearing from you. So, this amazing little shed, you see a picture of it with all kinds of drawings and colors on it. At mikesdailypodcast.com, you can see that picture now. And it's good to have happy faces and think positive things. Because, my friend, depression is a wall. Depression affects so many people. Do not be ashamed if you get depressed. It's really a, the, the, the human brain, the human body, everybody gets it. Now, of course, some people actually suffer from depression. It is a disease and they should see, a, you know, a, cl- a clinician, not a clinique advisor, but a clinician about it. A clinician can help with your depression. Or a therapist, psychologist, you know, you get the idea. But it is a wall. My lovely lady friend who's a therapist put it so well because we were talking about some people who who we know who suffer from depression and they basically are immobilized by it. They can't get stuff done. Like you can tell them, what's wrong with you? Get it done. Get her done, Larry the Cable Guy. And they just can't. They really can't. They've reached... There's this wall just stopping them. Doink. Doink. They keep doink. Bumming into the wall and nothing happens. They can't get through it. So, we have to try to move through that. Drink lots of coffee. Does that help with depression? Actually, it causes it, doesn't it? It makes the mood swings happen when you crash from drinking too much coffee. 
I've been known to drink a lot of coffee. It's true. Your friend, Mike Matthews, drinks a lot of coffee. Thank you so much for listening, by the way, to Mike's Daily Podcast somewhere in Podcaster Valley, the last place on earth. Trump faces pushback for urging people to vote twice as test. <laughs> yes. Vote vote often. Is that what is this? Vote early and vote often. President Donald Trump said today that people who vote early by mail should show up and uh, and vote to their polling place on election day a vote again if their ballots haven't been counted a suggestion that experts said would lead to chaos long lines and more work for election officials during a public health crisis this according to the AP in a series of tweets Trump encouraged voters to go to their polling site to see whether or not your mail in vote has been tabulated if it has you will not be able to vote and the mail in system worked properly But information on whether a ballot has been counted is typically not available right away. In several states, absentee ballots aren't even counted until after polls close. What can be checked is whether an absentee ballot has been received and in some cases whether it has passed a security review and will be submitted for counting. I got a neighbor that does this when she talks. She goes, hello, Mike, how are you? She does that. She does a lilt up at the end, a lilt up. Lilt fair, lilt, lilting, liltacious. So see the picture at mikesdailypodcast.com for that wonderful hippie looking type of building. It looks like a, a building that maybe you could film the movie Hair around. If you have not watched the movie Hair, please do because you'll go, what the wow. Some of you, that's your grandparents. Some of them, that's your parents. Some of them, that was you in that hair world as we go outside a cafe anyway we're bringing you mike's daily podcast somewhere in podcaster valley mont the last place on earth by the way my mom saw hair when it first came out it was in los angeles she went to i think did she say the whiskey a go-go or it was the roxy to see a performance and as i recall the story going she went with my mom not uh, my grandma not her mom but my dad's mom they both loved theater my mom still goes to the theater as much as she can in fact they're starting to reopen the theater ever so slowly in florida these days and they space everyone out so they follow as much guidelines as they can as they do in florida they try and keep the economy going as much as they can and she was uh there with my grandma and there was a scene in hair where people basically get nude and they're on stage in fact there's a funny story that jack benny the old time radio guy when radio was where television was basically radio back in the early days people listened to the radio and oh my favorite show is on and radio had colossal numbers because there was no tv and this guy jack benny Rochester he said after seeing uh, hair he, he he came out of the theater and said wow you could tell which actors were Jewish that was Jack Betty look him up he is long gone you know I think he was alive when I was a kid but he passed away and I hear he was originally supposed to be the one casted as God in the movie Oh God which then George Burns took over for him they were good friends and often competitors because they both had similar shows on the radio comedy shows and I invite you to listen to some of those old shows because uh, they'll still make you laugh even though it's like super old humor it still has I mean it's the absolute building blocks of what comedy is you take your most recent comedians your youngest most hip most cool most the it comedian of the times right now and they're borrowing from way back then this just the basic building blocks of comedy it's fascinating to hear it okay 
All I'm saying is, let's go, we're outside. Oh, we're outside. Speaking of which, kind of our little theater of the mind type thing like they used to do in the old days. We're outside a cafe anyway, somewhere in Podcastro Valley, the last place on earth. The smoke is still around. We don't like that. Oh, who's here? Oh, look who's here. Paul McMatthews is going to hard gift stuff. Shelly, we didn't understand what you just said. It didn't sound like English. I'm sorry. I meant to say Shelly Shuhart, the gift shop supervisor. That's great. Did you ever see Oh God? No. John Denver was in it. Oh, okay. John Denver with the Muppets. Oh, I love the Muppets. Yeah. Look who else is here. Oh, Mike, this is Floyd the Floor Man. And this is John Deere, the engineer. Mike, are you still having engineer problems at your work? Mm. Yes, lots of engineering problems. All my coworkers, they're amazing. Ken, Nate. I just said their names because they love it when I say their names on my podcast. So I just said it. And I'll put their names together. Kenate. And that is a word. Can you canate that problem? Yes, because canate can canate any problem. Or they can solve any problem. If canate is not. Canate, if you look it up in the dictionary, means the same as solve. Because they can solve any problems. If you got a problem, you'll all solve it. Check out this beat as I revolve it. I'm a DJ. And my name's Vanilla Mike. Okay, that's not what it is. It's the end of the show. Next show, it'll be the wonderful uh, Benita. That's who it is. Or the sound of a camel. Mah! The disgruntled fiddle player and the brewmaster. And tell me what you think about any of these topics. You can call me at 336-MM-DAILY. 3 plus 3 equals 6. MM is in Mike Matthews. Daily is in what this podcast tries to be. Yes, we did have topics in the show somewhere. Then you can recall them and we can chat about them. Mm-hmm. It's cool. Mike's Daily Podcast is written and produced and performed by Mike Matthews. His podcast is super easy to find. Download or listen to his show and read his blog at mikesdailypodcast.com. Email Mike now at mikesdailypodcast at gmail.com. See you tomorrow. Bye.